taking this as it built and, and you forced the overtime until ultimately winning. But how did you guys get to that point? We were just playing together down the stretch, to be honest. Um, like you said, defense, you know, wins games. And I felt tonight, you know, it was probably our best defensive night all year. And, um, you know, when we play defense, how's it going to fall? And um, we're going to have a better chance of winning. You know, Julius hadn't played much until early in that fourth quarter. How important was he down the stretch? You know, we talked about before the game, you know, uh, be ready, see so him to get ready. And uh, his number was called, and you saw what he did. Came out, he was ready from the jump, and um, definitely helped us, you know, get that win tonight. You know, Luke said that you, after a miss three, you came over and said, "Coach, I'm going to hit the next one." Ended up not going in, but he said he liked that confidence. So, what, what were you seeing in, in terms of your own shots that you were getting? I, mean, I like the shots that I'm getting. Everybody's going under the screens, um, you know, sagging off. Uh, missed a few layups today. I should have made. So, uh, I like the shots I'm getting. Uh, they'll go down. Two of your ten assists came in that overtime. Uh, what were the what was the defense showing you, and where were you trying to get guys the ball? Um, well, I, when I get to the paint, a lot of guys collapse, and then um, I just try to find an open guy, and then they hit the shot. Big one was the KCP corner three, but there were a couple other big ones as well. What did you see on that play, and how big was it? Um, the KCP one was all close loop. I mean, he drew up a perfect play. Um, Ju set one of the best screens all night, and you know, freed him up, and you know he makes a big shot, so he made. Anything you guys can take from this game as you move forward, beating a good team, uh, one of the best teams in the East? Yeah, just keep playing together. You know, when we do that, play for one another, we have a good chance of winning. You talked, uh, I think, last game about not digging yourself a hole because you guys got behind that back down by 20. Talk to me about what, what, the, what was the message at halftime today because, again, you guys dug yourself a hole, but you mm -hmm. were able to overcome it. Um, well, I thought the start of the game was a lot better. You know, we got up 10-4, so that was positive usually. You know, we start off, you know, down. And um, over the course of the game, we got down by 10. But um, the spirits were definitely high still. Um, we had guys ready to go off the bench and uh, made a few rotations, and then everything picked up. Hey, Alonzo, Luke said that he talked to the team at shoot around today about um, if, if, if anybody's talking about any of you guys that you should take it personally, you should take, you should take offense to it. Did you feel like, to, or to what degree did you feel like your guys had your back and it was it at the front of their mind, in your mind? Yeah, 100%. You know, uh, started at practice. You know, everybody uh, bought into it. You know, we're ready for this game. And um, you can see on the court, you know, the way we was guarding tonight, we was all playing for one another. You know, no one was playing selfish. We wasn't leaving guys on islands. You know, um, John Wall's one of the fastest point guards in the whole NBA. And um, you see every time he had the ball, we had people on both sides of him. So um, definitely a team effort tonight. Every time you get to match up against another new great point guard, I'm sure you learned something in that process. What did you learn tonight? Um, I mean, tonight was just a good overall effort. I mean, I don't think um, it was anything individual about tonight. And um, I think we should have all learned as a unit. You know, when we play defense, we're going to give our chance that much. We're going to have that much better chance to win. So um, we just got to keep playing on that end, and the offense will come. Jordan KCP also had a few assists, and I think nine total. What are you seeing about the team's overall passing? Um, it's getting contagious. Like I said, when we play together, you know, we, we're fun to watch for one, and for two, you know, give ourselves a lot better chance of winning. So, um, like I said, it starts on defense, you know, first and foremost, but on offensive end. Um, earlier, you know, a couple of games, we, we forced some shots um, versus New Orleans. You know, we forced a lot of shots down the stretch. Tonight was a lot different. What were you trying to do on that last play? Obviously, stop John Wall, but he kind of got past you, but at the same time, you didn't foul him up. Well, I mean, it was, they needed a three to win. Right. So I was going to ride him. He's right, he's right handed, so I doubt he was going to shoot it with his left from three point line. So I just stayed on his right hand and um, just made sure when I got to the three not to foul him. Bradley Beal said that uh, they were kind of caught off guard by your defensive intensity in the fourth quarter. Can you talk about how that picked up? And, and you guys obviously have been working on that. Yeah. Um, like I said, with team effort, you know, KCP took the point. And when, that, when we have a smaller lineup, I get to guard the three. And, um, you know, I, just, I get to help out the big and rebounding because I'm right there. So it um, gets the fast break started. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just a team effort down there. It's not one guy, you know. It's five on five. When your shot isn't falling, does it impact you in any way when you're playing? No, I mean, it would be a lot easier to win, you know, if I make some shots. But um, I'm going to rebound. You know, I'm going to try to defend every time I can, and I'm going to find an open man. You finally got some more time on the floor with Kuzma at the same time. Mm -hmm. What do you notice is different when he's out there? Uh, well, he gives us another element. You know, a four-man that can stretch the floor. Um, he can guard. Um, he's just very versatile. So he gives our team another look. And um, when he's in, you know, we tend to play a lot faster. Julius was telling us that Corey Brewer has just been huge for him in terms of being a vet on the mm -hmm. bench, the advice that he's given him. Have you, has he done the same thing with you? Uh, Corey talks to everybody, um, from the top to the bottom, <laughs> even coaching staff. You know, it's not always positive sometimes, but he definitely gets the best out of everybody. And um, he brings it every game, every practice, whether he plays two minutes or 20 minutes, you know, he's going to bring it. What kind of a statement do you think you guys made after all the back and forth with the Wizards, with Uncle Todd and, and what Wall had to say? And Butler. What kind of a statement was made tonight by you guys? And uh, we're just going to come out and fight every team, you know, no matter who it is. Um, we're going to try to put ourselves in the best position to win. You don't get caught up in any of that? 
I just go out there and play. I tell you that every day. I know. Yep. I still got to ask it. Though. Yep. Last question, please. You just Clarify. Clarify. How's that moving forward when, when other guards also, just like John Wall? One more time. Uh, what's, how's that like moving forward when uh, other point guards also match up with you? When, 